about how the policy should be made. For example, about your 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 the minority right. Who is going to have the privilege to talk to the officials to see to, to say oh we should do this or we should not do this? What is the priority? Nobody knows what what they what they what what they have been talking in a small cabinet, we cannot check it. There's no check and balance. Okay, so they make a rule for themselves, okay? The, the chief executive of Hong Kong should not appoint any body to attend to be a member of six committees. And they cannot, they, they should not stay in the committee for more than six years, but 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 they 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 they, they break they break they break their rules like they break a glass. So I come here to tell you that a person like John Chan, he said that he 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 accused me. To be ferocious and treating unfairly, and he need to tell me to go away, and he all, all and he tried to hint that maybe he should use the authorities to add one more power in order to show his anger. I asked him, please. Please, I you know you know I am going to do the filibustering very soon, next week. My demand is very simple. Okay, so I I ask the government to put fifty billion Hong Kong dollars in an account in order to facilitate or fund our security retirement scheme for the elderly. Am I wrong? Do you know how much money the government had got in their hands? I tell you, if you need to, you need to count the zero, zero, zero after that, you will be faint because it's too much, too many. We have about uh, possibly about 33, no, it's too much, uh, 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 it's 330 billion dollars in our hands. Just think about that. If, if, if your parents or your, your grandparents ask you, okay, son, grandson, would you like to, uh, uh, pay me for a security scheme. It were, it it only worth about five hundred dollars, and you will you pay. But for the government, they got about that much money, and they refuse to pay. That is not right. Something goes wrong. The minority rights in Hong Kong is uh, an issue that no, not many uh, politicians would like to take care of it because they are worrying about their vote because our government knows it very well separate and, and rule. My argument is very simple. If the minority, those political animals, those who brought, those people who are in power without any legitimacy, and they can rule us. This 
minority can rule the majority and the majority will cheat like animals. Animals, what is animals? They cannot speak. They cannot speak. So, if the, the majority take this kind of rule, and then they will bring, they will, they will be told to treat the minority. Ethnic minority, religious minority, they will be bring, just like me, I am a troublemaker, then you guys are troublemakers because you, you, you are not Chinese. It's wrong. We are all human beings. So, if somebody can claim themselves to be your master, I got a job uh, uh, last, for you guys. Last night I went to um, a pub and I walked by and there's a, a guy asked me, what, what, is, what is this? The t-shirt, there's a slogan on my t-shirt, uh, red light is a clothing. We can topple a tyrant and we can do it again. And the guy asked me, where is the tyrant? I said, the tyrant is everywhere. Any, anyone who sit on top of you and put the finger to you for, for no reasons. They, they don't have logics. They only got the power. They, they only got the control. They are the tyrant. And I make a joke. If the bartender tell you not to drink, he's a tyrant. <laughs> you should fight back, you should drink more. But it's a joke, but, but, but. We don't need anybody to tell us what to do, what not to do. We are all human beings. So I think the minority rights in Hong Kong being ill-treated is not because because those people who are in power are so ferocious. It's because the majority of Hong Kong, they keep silent. If they can give up their own rights, of course they can give up your rights. If they can take the repression on daily basis, they will repress you on daily basis. They will, they will be told If the government can victimize the majority, of course, they will tell the majority to victimize the minority. Separate group. So, my argument, my argument is very simple. Give back my rights. Give back my right to choose the government. I don't need the bartender to tell me not to drink. <laughs> so, I hope you guys should understand. It, come, it doesn't come from nowhere. The, the minority right will be deserved only for you guys to fight. Empowerment. Don't just sit here. And I tell you, not just, I don't tell you, just act. Think. Think. The most vulnerable mi minority is that you don't think. You accept. You let the bartender tell you not to drink. He should tell you to pay instead of telling you not to drink. So they need to pay. We will make that pay. Only if we act. We act before we, we think. It's not good. Think before you act. So I urge you guys to listen to Mr. Tai. <laughs> he will tell you how to fight. <laughs> I am 
I hope I will not be uh, too, uh, what should I say, <laughs> irritating. <laughs> what I can tell you, the wrongness has been done for so long. It's based on the unfair political system in Hong Kong. That's why we urge the Chinese communists not to stop our, not to stop the implementation of the universal suffrage. I tell them, I tell CY Leung, give back my rights. That's a very famous saying during the Irish independent movement. Give iron back to the Irish before it run away. So give back our right, our basic right. So I hope Mr. Tai will give you a good <laughs> lesson. I don't think he would like to drink and smoke like me, but he will tell you how to tell off the bartender if he does not behave himself. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>